Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello. Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to our English class. It's a great chance to be here, um, ready to learn and practice English. So welcome to everyone. I hope that you have had a great weekend. And this is a good time because, you know, we, weekend we have the chance to, you know, stay home and also be relaxed, be, you know, recover energy for this week. So that is something very interesting. So for me, it's a great pleasure to be here with, uh, with you guys and um, ready to, to learn, ready to practice, because English is, is a process. It's not so simple. We, every day we have to practice, every day we have to show that we are uh, doing a great job, that we are practicing the main skills. And that can help you to be sure, to be secure about speaking, about communicating, and also it, it's that necessary. So people who, who study English, they dedicate time to, to work and practice. Uh, using different resources like uh, television, uh, listening, reading books, and different things that perhaps we can also have to, you know, to work and practice English. You know, it's very recommendable. And also, well, the, this class, that definitely that is the best way to practice because you are interacting with different people. And also, you can, you have a freedom to, to talk, to participate actively, and, um, you know, to know, to let us know that you know English, you can manage different topics and you are a critical thinking student and that is one of the things that perhaps we have to show in every single class so for me it's a great opportunity to be here and we start um, with the class about this week and uh, during this week we have started different topics that were very interesting we had the opportunity to talk about training we talk about development and um, especially when we as employees we have the the opportunity, you know, to study, to work, and uh, to learn new things, to, well, to have a plus in what we do. That is the first one. We have a plus, we are encouraged, we're motivated, and overall, we're doing the best, okay? So I would like to ask you, are you ready? Sofredo, are you ready? Yes, I think. Excellent. Yeah, of course. Emerson, are you ready? Hello. Yes, I'm ready. Excellent, right? So congratulations, and don't forget to have the camera on because it's important. Remember that insofar as like monitoring that all of us, we have uh, the camera on and we have active different things. Well, let's start, and I just want to share the first activity we have for this class, and let's see what we have. We talk about design and structured request to access training programs. In that case, as uh, we have... Uh, the time in the last class, we were thinking about some important trainings that we would like to have in our in the companies. Some of you said, well, I would like to have this one in the company. I would like to have this training because it's necessary, because we can also learn and because people need this kind of thing. So we were like in a general way describing what trainings uh, we would like to have in our company or in our job positions. We were talking about that. But today we're gonna design, as the word says, we had to design a structured request to access a training program. Let's imagine that you become trainers and you have your trainees, you have the people that you would like to train. For that reason, it's important that you uh, work in the following thing. You will uh, design a training. It's about what you want about a need, a necessity in the company. And you're saying like, you know, I'm thinking about a possibility. Uh, what training I would like to apply for the, in my job. And I will show you right now what we had to do. Well, there are some students joining right now the class. And also I, I will say, you know, congratulations for those who have come on time. You always like show, you know, this responsibility to be on time and there are different circumstances, but we're here. 
Okay, design a structured request to access a training program. Design a training for a company. You are expert, right? You as experts of your jobs and your companies, you have to design a training. Teacher, what, what training this will be? I don't know. It's perhaps a necessity you have seen in the company or like the examples that we did the last time that you design a personal training and you were like discussing some valuable points that you would like to highlight in your company. In that case, there are some specific steps that we are going to share here in this uh, design. The first is identify the need for training. In, well, in that case, because you are the expert and you will create and design the company, the, the training, you think about a necessity given in your company. If there's something that you say, I would like to apply this training in, the, in my company because I think that perhaps we can grow as a company or we can have better results or per, perhaps the people in the company can be benefited of, from these situations. Well, identify the need for training. You will explain what is the necessity that you need or you have in your company. For example, in this example we have here is like this one. In a company, people need to learn first aid for any situation given in a company. Mm -hmm. Let's imagine there is a, an accident in the company and you don't know what to do. So the, the identify the need for the training. In this case, the, the goal is that People need to learn first aids by any situation of life. They have an accident. They can react and also um, try to help or react in a positive way under different circumstances. So that is the first thing. So you have to identify the need for the training. In your companies, perhaps could be uh, the necessity of uh, learning technology, or the necessity to learn more is uh, selling strategies or the, for example, customer support training or customer service in general, or perhaps um, the necessity to manage, uh, for example, international people or international roles, etc. You will think about a necessity given your company. The next one is defined. One second. Uh, define training objectives. You will think about what what could be the objectives or at least the ideas that you would like to you know to support your design or design your in that case your training. So you have to think about that one. In my case, the example says the main objective is to save lives because we were saying that the, the need for the training is to people can learn to, you know, to manage the first aid for any situations. So the main objective is to save lives, preserving life, that is one, uh, preventing injury from getting worse and aiding the recovery. So that is, the, you can see the, the, the training objectives. All the purpose about your training, because you are designing this training, also, we have here the develop, develop the training. What is that one? For example, you will give some specific details about your training. For example, the time is three week session. So you have to think about a three weeks session. Maybe you can say, well, my training will take one month or my training will take uh, one week, two hours a day, one hour a day. So it's going to be up to you. And also you can think about that, right? And you can check the word says design the trainings and they have the topics. What are the topics that you will include in your training? Like a small group discussion with uh, debriefing, case studies, for example, there are some situations and how can you handle the situations that are the topics. Hand on practice, for example, if you're talking about first aid, you need to know what to do under a situation. You have to react. So the training and the practice is important. Uh, questions and answers, uh, for example, what can I do if the patient is losing blood? What can I do? So questions and answers and resuscitation techniques. The, those are the, the, the examples about this uh, training. And also develop the training. Uh, develop the training is like the time, three weeks sessions. 
for hours per week. And also at the end of the, you know, the project, you will receive a diploma or a certificate. So those are the, the details that maybe you would like to highlight for this kind of the training. And the last point is evaluate the training. What will you evaluate in the training? For example, practice, uh, the practice will be evaluated. So you have to see the, the person there practicing, trying to resuscitate, trying to do some things. Um, that's why practices will be evaluated. The full attendance will be evaluated too. So in my training, I want that everybody go to all the sessions and complete participation in the three sections. Those are the most valuable points in these presentations. Let me show you back the, one second. Let me show you back this one. Much better now. Okay, so this is what you had to do. This is an example of how are you going to work with your training because you are the designer of this training. So you can think about that one. The last time uh, somebody told me in the front of the class that you were thinking about programming. For example, you would like to have a training about programming. So some uh, co-workers don't know about a topic they would like to to work with that so you so you can think about these ideas and uh, definitely this is what we had to do uh, remember the points identify the need for training define training objectives design the training the topics and develop the training and evaluate the training this is what we had to do in this class before that we start working, I just want to make sure that you understood what we had to do. Is that clear for you guys? Yes, teacher, it's clear. Excellent. We are going to do um, a specific things for each topic that we have uh, left identify the need for training, and we are going to put details about uh, some department on our company, and we will uh, design a uh, training for okay. this department. Excellent, great job. Okay. So you will become designers. You will become training designers. Imagine okay. you can sell this idea later. Imagine, that's good. So you could think about a possible training, obviously in a briefly way. And also, for example, Cifrido, Ernesto, he will design a training according to the company's needs, right? So he will describe in a briefly way each point, for example, the need, what are the objectives about his training, the topics that he will include in his training in a briefly way. That's what we had to do. Great jobs. And also, thank you so much for explaining us uh, or summarized what we had to do about the training. So don't forget that if you have any questions or doubts and uh, you have always the freedom to ask, can you say, teacher William, can you help me to you know, know how to write this word? Or how can I say this in English? Or is that idea correct? So I can also tell you that when you can use the chat to uh, ask your questions, or you can also activate the microphone by any chance. I'm just gonna be here, uh, see you working. I will give you a couple of minutes uh, to think about your um, training. What training would you like to design? And um, some important points to, to do that one. After we do this one, we're going to take a short time to socialize with our classmates. We're going to socialize and talk about our trainings is everything okay jorge antonio excellent he says yes manuel yes. okay perfect manuel antonio uh, ready to okay excellent all right emerson elises yes teacher ready to all right that's awesome and carlos ernesto i ready to Yes, teacher. That's okay. That's really important. Okay, so guys, let's start now, and I wish you good luck. 
and definitely that we're going to take a short time to learn a lot in this class. Let's go.
Okay, students, for those who are joining the class, and well, there are some students who, for some circumstances, are joining the class now. And I'm just going to give a brief introduction about what we are doing um, by any chance. First, um, our classmates are right now working in a training. They are designing a training for their companies. They are thinking about their needs in the company, what things or areas they would like to improve by a specific training. That's why they are in this moment working and designing um, the ideal uh, training for their employees or co-workers in the company. And also there are some points that are being mentioned for example, identify the need for training. That is the first point. You have to explain uh, why this training is important. It's important because imagine there is an accident in the company and there is not a, a doctor nearby. So you can also, uh, with your training, can help a person immediately and by any circumstance. And also define the training objectives. What are the goals that will be covered in this training? What are the reasons why this training uh, will be what will carry out? Um, also, uh, the design the training. What are the topics that you would like to include in your training? It's important to discuss about those points in in your training and also we have developed the training you can think about some important details about your training for example this training is online or is in person or maybe you say there is a link and we will be connecting by this platform or this uh, training will be in person in the inside the company so people can also see and practice etc also, the, the time, it's for four hours per week. We're talking about three weeks and four hours per week. And also develop the training. And at the end, the diploma will be given or certificate of participation of this training. And because it's important to have a certification, right? You, it certifies that this person has been here for um, that number of hours and they have been in the training. And also evaluate the training. They will evaluate what will be the points that will be evaluated in the training. For example, to have the 80% of participation or attendance in the meeting that everybody can do the 100% of the practice. So there are some important points that you would like to um, highlight related to this training. It's good because you can also uh, design the, a very creative proposal for uh, this kind of trainings. And at the same time, the impact that this kind of trainings could have in employees or also people in the company. And we were saying something in the last class that I was like thinking, and this is that in, I mean, we shouldn't be like concentrated thinking about trainings. The company should offer it. Obviously that the company should, uh, should offer the important trainings for employees so they can be ready. But thinking about personal trainings can benefit us. Me, as, as a person, I, I can also think about self-didactic or self-learning because at the end, everything that I learn, it's, it's going to be for my personal benefit and for my personal experience. So that's why we had to look for the convenience about what we are studying. Okay, are you ready? Uh, someone is ready or you're ready? I need more time, teacher. No more time? I need more time. Yes, yes, well. my case, in my oh, case, you, you, uh, I need more need time. Wow, please. all right, okay, that's okay. So that means that this, this training will be fantastic. It will be very, very nice. Yeah, so you can also give uh, creativity in this kind of training. Okay, so please let me know when you're ready. You say, teacher, I'm ready uh, to share my the, my design. And also, you can also think about that. 
Well, this is very, very nice to think about some important trainings. Uh, sometimes with um, employees you know, or people in the company, we think about what trainings we would like to have. You know, you are like, you know what? There are some necessities here in this company. But if we think, we can imagine that this training will be appropriate for uh, this department or for this specific department. Why? Because it could make uh, the work easier. So everything could be fast, could be interesting. Also, we can take advantage about the resources. So we are uh, thinking about uh, those kind of trainings. And uh, the best training is to be ready by, uh, by any circumstance. We have to be ready. And if you are looking for a job, for example, if the in the company they request any specific training, you say, you know what, I have this training. Well, we need a person who can have these skills. Well, I have these skills. So you're very valuable for the company. Richard, I would like to share my, my example. Excellent. That would be awesome. Uh, I'm going to share my screen on the... Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, right? Okay. Um, Amazing. I, I work in the logistic uh, department and my training is for this department, for that department. Uh, well, identify uh, the needs for training. In my company, I have two co-workers. Uh, they are two girls and that they need a training that I have been studying in this year. Um, well, additionally to learn English, I have been starting this, this course of logistic. And that training is in the logistic area. And the second point is define training objectives. Uh, the first objective is solve problems in the international uh, commerce. International, yes, international commerce. And the second objective is improve in the customer service. Excellent. Good point. And the, in the design the training topics, I, I think that is a good idea that an expert in the area explain each topic with details and real examples in the in the in the area uh, how to use the incoterms the incoterms is a topic in the logistic area uh, customs legislation i don't know if if is correct customs like aduanas I, yeah. I look for, yes, yeah, okay, thank you. And uh, origin of the mer or of the merchandising. Uh, it is um, <clears throat> a topic that we, that we need to know in the logistic department. And what is the develop uh, of the training? Two hours each Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday for six months. Really is a large training, but um, doesn't easy topics. And they require we, time. Yes, yes, require require a, a lot of time to oh. to learn uh, with more details and understand all the topics. And how can how we will. Uh, evaluate the training well uh, they will have many activities on each level um, the the course have or or the training have one level per month and for each level they will they will have a final exam to evaluate to evaluate the knowledge cut in the level and just that Excellent, uh, Kevin, congratulations for the work done. That was a very, very interesting, you know, um, training. Definitely that I, it was very interesting that I just want to be part of this training. Yeah, because it's, the topics are very nice, very interesting. 
and also because you manage the area. That is something important. You saw the needs to, to have these kind of trainings. And also the description is very clear and accessible. So congratulations. This is what we were looking for, the, trying to, you know, encourage, you know, people to, to have the necessity of this kind of trainings. That's really valuable. Congratulations for that one. Great job. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to be doing this one in groups and in, uh, in small groups because we would like to have everybody participating actively in this one, but we'll take a lot of time. And um, if anyone else would like to share, you know, his or her project. Like Kevin. Anyone else would like to share the, um, um, his or her training? Someone here, like like Jorge, Cifredo, Manuel, Justman. Someone, someone here. And also don't forget to have the cameras on. So I just want to congratulate publicly to those who have the camera on. And for those who haven't, please don't forget to do it because it's something important given by the by Insofor and they monitor the videos and also the classes that all of us, we have the cameras actively as the instructions given at the beginning of this project and at the beginning of this course. Okay, so are you ready everybody? Are you ready? If we're ready, we can go to the break room. Ready. You're ready. Thank you, Emerson. Emerson is ready. Uh, Jorge? Yes, it's yes. You're ready too. Okay, so let's go. Let's uh, practice in the break rooms and let's share what we have. We're gonna make a small groups and also don't forget to participate actively, have the microphone activated and also practiced. What you have to do is that you will share your uh, training as Kevin did in this class. Let's go. Look at the screen. Sure. Yes. Hello. Good, good evening. Hello, Nelson. Uh, I I'm trying to do the activity, but can you share me the picture of the points, please? Um. Uh. This one. Uh, yes. Please. Oh. Okay. Oh, let me see. I I can take a screenshot. Yeah, I I can also share that one. And you can also see in the group the presentation, and I sent uh, the um, the the PPT, you know the material. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And but thank I, you. But I'm just going to take a picture so you can also see it. 
I got it. Yeah, by the group. Okay, you can check that that now, okay. Thank you, teacher. You are mute. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, no, what I want you to do is to um join a breakup room and also you can uh practice with uh class. Okay. One second, I'm sharing with you to this group. Look at your screen, please. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Uh, okay. Uh-huh. You can see my my screen. Uh -huh. Yes, I can see. Okay, thank you. Okay. okay, this is my design training for my company. In my case, uh, in my case, I identify the 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 need is a uh, training for a. Uh, uh, system operation in Windows Server, Windows Server administration. And the fine training object is, uh, the goal is the, the agent of support uh, to be able to resolve uh, the issues, uh, the level one, okay, e efficiently. And we, we are detecting that the six, 60% of the problem related to support is uh, for the bad configuration in, in the Windows Server, okay? And this training, the topics um, is installation, in, uh, installation and configuration of the Windows Servers and it's the hardware requirements. Uh, administration of service in Windows servers, uh, database administration and configuration on Windows servers, uh, Windows server optimization and search and interpretation of the, the, the Windows server logs. Okay. And develop training uh, and the time is 12 sessions for a month uh, on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. A uh, two two hour uh, per session, uh, and and we can have a Microsoft certification. This is the the the, the object. <laughs> uh, the objective. Okay. Uh, the evaluation training is a um, uh, evaluation practice. Um, Eighty percent attendance. Um, active uh, active participation and final project evaluate. Okay, and this is all. Uh, I don't know uh, who is the next. Uh, congratulations, uh, Juan Carlos. That was a very um, interesting training. Okay, thanks, teacher. Okay, uh, Emerson. Uh, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. I okay. share my screen. Okay. Did you uh, follow? Yeah, I stopped share. Okay. okay. So, my training plan is very simple. It's uh, about the system of the statistic for production process uh, identify the training the training needs is employees need more knowledge of the statistic to evaluate the production process definite training objectives only have two uh, first improve the use the computer equipment of the statistic staff and uh, number two uh, establish data handed criteria to for an inspection introducing introduce google data analytics as a software to co collect the data collected in the samples in inspections 
for designing the training, uh, I de decide the class will be connected virtually and the topic will be as a follows. The skills, your, again, uh, the first uh, job portfolio, data cleansing, data analysis, uh, data isolation with the database, case study, speeches, meta, metadata, and data collection. For the Lope, develop the training. Uh, the training will be provided twice a week for from 2 uh, 6 p.m. on Wednesday and Fridays. But for to for evaluate the training uh, at the end, up the end, the training there will be two tests to evaluate the knowledge acquired, writing and practical. Okay. Okay. This this is all. This is my plan. Thank you. That was very interesting. Um, there are like important details that you um highlighted about this training, so that perhaps when we listen, it's like you know sounds very interesting, and we would like to be part of this training. It's it's good because you established valuable points that maybe are needed in in, in the area. Uh, someone else was here with us. I think he left or. Okay, well, I will visit some other groups. You can discuss about this training okay. and also practice. Congratulations. Okay, thanks, Chair. Thanks. Nice. Okay, what about you? Um, next, Edwin. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, in my case, um, Identified as a uh, identified the need for training. The need for training, yes, uh, is uh, how to use a new system in my work. Um, as defined, training objective is to learn how to use the new system. What is the new system? Task. No, you just an example. It's dynamic. Uh, dynamic. Excuse me. Dynamic. Ah, is... in Excel. No, it's Microsoft Dynamic. Oh, okay, I don't, I don't know what is it really. Okay. <laughs> okay. I I am going to apply for the for that uh, training. <laughs> okay. Okay. Welcome. <laughs> yeah, continue, please. Okay. And uh, the trying up to how to so learning how to use the new system and learn how to use each module in this system. Uh, as a design the training topic, um just a small group for a uh, for persons and Given a uh, material and explain every topic that we are talking about in the module and giving a computer to use for the practice them and develop training at uh, the time uh, during a week for three hours per day. And evaluate the training is using the computer uh, uh, we do an exercise for each module to 
evaluate if all is clear about the new system. Okay. For that. Uh, what is the... Uh, what is the... <laughs> application of this of this of that um program edwin the application uh, yes uh, i don't know if he's administrator or what is the audience yes, is the training the administration and purchase order is all about the um, Inventory. customer service. Oh, yes. it's like it's like SAP. It's like SAP. Ah, okay, yes. okay, okay. Uh, uh, what is the name of the program? Microsoft Dynamic. Microsoft Dynamic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a good system, but. Wow, it is I, uh, Edwin, are you the uh, programming? He's a count. No. Ah, it's a count. Yes. Ah, okay, okay. I am on a user. Okay. What is the name that uh, of the gas, Carlos Six? Uh, the 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 oh, hi, Sifredo. Are uh, you finished? Uh, all of you finished? Yes, we are ready. Yeah. Okay, that, that's okay. Oh, my bad. I came late. All right, so we're going to take, um, you know, a couple of minutes before, it, you know, going back to the main section. I hope that we had enjoyed it, this conversation. And at the same time, you have given like valuable details about your training because it's important, you know, to, you know, socialize, you know, about some needs that perhaps we can uh, perceive in our company, what we do. So definitely that we also can learn from that one. And at the same time, the experience to, you know, to socializing groups. We can listen to Zefredo, Jose Carlos, Wendy, uh, talking about some um, important strategies that perhaps we can implement, especially in our jobs or in where are we in this moment. Okay, in a couple of minutes, we will go back to the main session. Okay.
Okay, so most of us were here. So first of all, congratulations to everyone because you did um, a great job, a magnificent job, like listen, incredible, you know, trainings, uh, sections that you would like to apply, especially where you work, according to your personal experience and also the talent you have in everything. So that there were interesting projects, the innovation, and also some strategies that perhaps uh, are very valuable about what you do. And also, I, I really like the, the interactions you have because, you know, at this level, all of us, we have to practice, you know, the, you know, don't be like afraid to talk, just like speak briefly, speak, socialize, ask questions, interact using the language prop properly, because that's really important. And um, that's one of the ways we can do. All right. So great job. And we don't like go beyond this one because I know that we have some other activities to develop. But I was very, very uh, happy to listen um interesting projects. I was listening to some of you who said, hey, I would like to be in this training too, because that can help me. Oh, I can learn something new. So they were uh, very successful responses to, uh, from your classmates. So that's why it's, it's very valuable to, you know, to discuss about these points. Any questions or comments before moving on to the next slide? Do you have any question or comment that you would like to socialize? No. Yes, no. No for the moment? Not for the moment, teacher. No for the moment. For the moment, teacher. I really appreciate it. Okay, we're going to take a short time because I need to check the attendance list. As we know, we have the... Uh, the time to check the attendance twice during the class. So just allow me a moment, please. And also if you listen um, to your name, just say present. Okay, let's check the attendance list. Uh, Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Present. Thank you, Carlos Ernesto Hernandez. Present. Uh, Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Edwin. Present. Oh, thanks. Uh, Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Jorge Antonio Sanchez. Present teacher. Uh, Jose Bernardo Lopez. Present. Thank you. Just one moment, please. Um, Jose Carlos Argueta. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Uh, Jose Salvador Bernal. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Joshman Natilio Serrano. Present. Uh, Juan Carlos Herrera. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Present. Uh, Nelson Alberto Peraza. I'm here to chair. Thanks. Uh, Osman Enrique Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Rafael Alexander Serna. Rafael, yes, thanks. Uh, Ricardo Ernesto Perez. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Cifrido Ernesto. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Good evening, present. Hello, good evening. And Mirna Elizabeth Alvarenga. Present. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, let's continue with the class. 
Okay, look at the next slide we have here, and we have a conversation. Oh, I'm sorry. We're going to go back. Okay, much better. Well, uh, listen to the following conversation and select the best answer. In that case, there are some important questions or statements that we had to complete according to the conversation, like the gentleman tries to return to this tour. What kind of article he is going to return to? Uh, the, oh, the gentleman would like to give back the item because it's like, you know, you get the product, but I would like to, to bring it back because for some circumstances. The three is like the seller of the store offers to what's the solution given by the seller. The number four is the store seller does not want to accept the product back because according to the conversation, you'll choose the best answer in that case. The last one is like, what happened at the end of the conversation? In this moment, I'm sending you the audio that we will use for this conversation. One moment, please. Okay, look at the WhatsApp group and listen this uh, conversation and choose the best answers. And then we're going to take a short time to socialize the answers together. Let's go.
Okay, are you ready? Yes, I believe. Yes. Okay, um, well, so let's uh, talk about a conversation. Um, according to, you know, this conversation is, is a situation that happens very often or is not so common? What do you think? Very often, very common. <laughs> yeah. So we have to be very careful, especially when we're getting some products, to, uh, and especially with the receipt. Uh, by any chance, you know, if there is uh, something that needs to be improved in the in the products, right? So we had to be very careful. All right, let's check the first one. And um, so the gentleman tried to return the what kind of item was mentioned in this uh, conversation. A sweater. Exactly. <laughs> yes, a sweater. That was the problem. And uh, but there is something interesting. It, he tried to return this uh, product. What was the reason? And why he wanted to it, give it back? It is wrong size. I think the fabric is coming apart. The fabric. <laughs> exactly. That's right. So that, that was the issue related to the fabric. You know, that's what, yeah, so that is uh, something that, you know, the person, you know, just uh, focused in this conversation. And then we have the next one that is the, the seller of the store offers to, um, what offer it? It's an item for a different one. Yeah, switch the item yeah. for a different one. Yeah, yep. most of the time happens because our part of the policy is in a, in a story. You know what? The, the the product is not good, so I need to you know, change it. So they give you a different product or a similar one, but the new one, much better. If not, perhaps you can request a refund, right? Because sometimes it happens that there are some companies that if you have a receipt, you give the receipt and also you can have a refund of the product, the total amount. Yes, in that case, the, the recommendation was to change for a different one. Okay, the store seller does, doesn't want to accept the product back because what was the reasons why he didn't want to receive the product? The return period past uh, yeah. Yeah, so that, that is so sad, right? This is for example yeah. when you are like getting... yesterday. <laughs> oh, yeah. You you have a problem and you see the receipt and it says that it was yesterday. You're like, oh my god. So sad story. <laughs> that is so sad. And that happens, you know, sometimes for example, you have a um a, what a fan or a television, and then suddenly the TV doesn't work. And you you check the guarantee, and the guarantee the guarantee expired a week ago, and you're like, what? A week ago, and my TV doesn't work, so there is no guarantee. That is so bad. Yeah, that that happens. That that happens anyway. Okay. And the next one, it says that what happened at the end of the conversation. Customer leaves the store without leaves the store the, without the item. item. Yeah. Yeah. So sad, right? True story. <laughs> I, I was like, I was like a little. I, know, I, I, I don't listen sad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very angry. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah. Oh, take your sweater and you should yeah. like open up. Yeah. So he was like very, very angry because of the policy of the, yeah, of the story. And <laughs> oh, very bad. He was like a very mad. He has, he has his reason. He lost in some money, right? This is, for example, people who uh, request some services for hotels and they make a reservation. Uh, there are, when you make a reservation, depending on the hotel, 
if you cancel the reservation, there are two kind of policies. The first one is that you can uh, re you can cancel the reservation for some circumstances and you receive the money back. But there are some, uh, for example, services of hotels that if you cancel, uh, they don't give you a refund. You lose the total amount, but also you can decide if you want a refundable um, reservation or no refundable reservations. So you need to make sure the expiration date, if you can cancel, if you cannot cancel, if you can receive a, a refund, if you cannot receive a refund, it's important to know about those details, especially when we are getting a product or a special service. It's a recommendation that, that it happens. Okay, let's continue. Yes. Uh, teacher, can you share the this screen in the WhatsApp group for for practice uh, tomorrow? You say the this conversation. Yes. Um. Uh. Well, I, I send um that. Oh, the presentation, right? Yeah. The, the yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Can you see? Yeah. I guess I have the presentation there. Yes, I, I got it, teacher. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Yes, remember that uh, when I I have the time to to send the presentation, so you can also double check or check uh, vocabulary, or you have an idea about what to do. It's always important to have it here. All right, let's continue then with the next part here, and we're gonna click in. We're going to work at the following theme. Write the definition of the following words. What I want you to do is to explain each one. What is the meaning about each one? So not necessarily the definition, but we understand this one. For example, what is an induction? Uh, can you describe with your own words what is an induction? Well, it's a process in which you can like explain that, the benefits of training a staff. What do you think could be the benefits of training a staff? Uh, that everybody speaks the same language, that everybody knows, to, knows what to do. So try to know a, every part of this one. For example, a staff appraisal, what is that? A training at the workplace, what is that? Can you explain me the, with your own words? What is that? Well, on the job now, training away from the workplace, what is the meaning about that? What do you understand by training away from the workplace? Initial training to familiarize new recruits with the system of a business. So explain with your own words, what is the meaning about each one? And assessing how effectively an uh, employee is working. So I want you to take a short time to know the meaning or the, the concepts of this words we have here. And then we're gonna take a short time to uh, describe with our own words to, what is the meaning about each one. It's because sometimes we see the words and we don't know how to explain that. So when we know about with a dictionary, we know the real definition and we know how to explain each word. That happens, especially when we don't know some words and also it's important to concentrate it special efforts to learn a new vocabulary. If you learn new vocabulary, it can help us a lot to speak fluent. Okay, check in the dictionary, check online, and have an idea what is each of the phrases and works here. I will give you a couple of minutes. Is that clear? Yes, it's clear. Yes, it's clear. Thank you so much.
Okay. Um, everything okay? No. Yes. Okay, great. Okay, uh, are you ready? No. Not yet. Okay. Okay, um, what about now? Are you, most of you ready? Yes, no? Yes. Yes. Where are you going? Almost ready? Almost, teacher, yes. Almost, okay. Um, let's take uh, three more minutes and then we're going to go to the breakup rooms and you will practice, you know, expressing what you found about the definition of the words and also with your own words, you can explain uh, also what's the meaning about each one or what is the reference uh, to these words.
Okay, so let's get ready. I, I will, um, you know, create the break rooms. You practice with your classmates and you give your personal definition about each uh, word we have there. And also explain with your own words, what's the real meaning about this. And also if that is, you know, it's very common in your, in your company or the place where you work. Let's uh, open the breaking rooms. You join in and you talk about that. Let's go then. Look at your screen and you will see the invitation. introduce 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 uh, at the company you you explain step step by step uh, uh, how is how is the the culture of the company you mm -hmm. can explain uh, all process of the company uh, mm -hmm. and the new uh, employees has to learn about the culture the the, the company uh, i think I, mm -hmm. I i i suppose you you have to teach all about the company yeah, uh, objectives <laughs> uh, goals uh, how how is the food the functions uh how's the whole process yeah i agree with you is the the first step that when you had to begin in a new position or job and you know to to know the mission vision culture about the the company and the the rest of the process I yes I agree with you and what Wendy is, what do you Wendy is here yeah, yes Hola, what, yeah. Is, what is your opinion Wendy ah, ahorita estoy terminando a ver okay. si a ver si puedo eh, desde al principio va you can try it. Induction? What do you think about induction in, in the company? Uh, induction? Yes, the first one. Um, the puse induction when person enter the world to company. Uh, when a person enter the world to company benefit of training personal to have a good presentation in the world they develop. Um, personal evaluation. Each company evaluates its personal from, from type to or to see how their attitude are. On the job training, how you can train or get different Ideas, no sé si se dice, different ideas. Ideas, 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 ideas. <laughs> in there are areas of work on the job of on the job 
uh, where you can develop a, develop a, in your daily ac activities at work. Oh, you talk about the old, no, yeah. just the one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, ladies, ladies, I, I, I want to give an uh, uh, opinion. Yes. I, I think in uh, a good induction is a, is a big problem in many companies because mm -hmm. uh, when you you get a promotion uh, or, or when you start a new position in a company. In the uh, same company. You refer when you yes, the same, same company. company. Okay. Or, maybe, or maybe in a new company. Uh, mm -hmm. Almost always never give a good induction. Uh, <laughs> never, never explain a specific uh, process the company uh, never give give a, a goal, clear goals and objectives the company okay. yes yeah i agree uh, with for you me, this is a, it's a real problem in many companies yeah maybe the the in the when it's a big company they have the structure more structure, maybe the human resource try to give the the more information your boss or your or your team maybe. But this is in a big company. In a, I think that it's a problem when it's a, a small or medium company. I think. Okay. But in yeah. a big, I yeah. think that is is a is good the induction. I think. Culture. Yes. Yes. It's important uh, all departments uh, or manager of the all departments uh, get a uh, procedures, procedimentos, procedures. Yeah, the uh, procedures. 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 Yes. Procedures. It's it's important. Procedures. Have to yes. procedures clear in in update. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the, the second have, one. <laughs> uh, yes, there are a lot of things to speak about this concept. <laughs> yeah. Very interesting. Very interesting. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> oh, that was great. Thank you. you. Okay. Great Benefits of training staff. What do you think, Milena, about, about this concept? This work? Oh my God. I think that the benefit of training staff is um, when you try to improve in your skill of training uh, because you need to increase the pro producti productivity and develop. I think that the benefit that the training step is, is that um, um, when you, uh, when between your skill, you uh, you you win you win or or you can to increase the pro productivity um you can improve the quality of work establish our, our clear standard for training i think yes also, also i think the benefits of training staff uh, is a uh, um, you can you can you can arrive uh, easier the goal or less difficult uh, if you if you win, if, if i win the company win also um, i identify with the company too because uh, the company teach me um, very well how how can i do my my job a better way. Mm. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, with more quality, with more efficient, eff efficiently. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, efficiency, it's, efficiency. It's... What about you, Wendy? Um, and the on the job. No, the benefit of benefit. training staff in the es second. Que yo Okay. 
Um, hi, you finish here? Uh, you finished? Mm, no, finished yet. Oh, no, yet. You're, you're still visualizing okay. the concept. Uh, uh, I want to ask Manuel the concept number two. Excellent. Uh, what is the concept uh, you're looking for the benefits of training staff? Benefit of training staff. Organization yeah. can prevent disruption by using target training to create career path for their employees. Okay. Uh, I the other concept me, for example, when employees for their training, it improves their skill and knowledge of the job and builds their confidence in their abilities. Okay, okay. For their concept. <laughs> okay, when, when the employees have a uh, training, is yes, yeah, is, is the employee have a new uh, skill, a new uh, skill. Yeah, improves their, uh -huh, improves their skills and knowledge. knowledge. Okay. Uh, and you, Jose, uh, you have the staff appraisal. Uh, yes, staff appraisal is a meeting held with an employee to discuss their performance and future development within the company. Okay. Mm. I think it is to analyze uh, the way that the employees developing uh, in the company is the, mm, the skills that he or she has in this moment, in that moment that you are making the evolution. And it allows you to decide if, if 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 she or he can apply to a new a new uh how do you say a new position a high position okay uh, my concept is is a, is a process whereby an employer evaluates an employer's work, performance over a period of time. Similar, you tell you told me. Yes. Okay, well, because of the time, we're going to try to go back because we have the last activity before concluding. And also, congratulations, because it's important to know about the words we have. Um, as you know, in, uh, there are interesting concepts related to, you know, companies like a staff appraisal, benefits of training a staff. What's the importance about the indulgence, especially in a job when you're new? And you don't know what, to, what task are you going to develop during your job? So it's important to know this vocabulary. Well, um, well, congratulations. You know, what I really love about this class is that we take a short time to practice. You know that we know about grammar, we have study vocabulary, but um, 
the most valuable is like the practice, is the interaction, because that gives us security. And at the same time, we have a feedback about vocabulary and expressions that perhaps we don't know. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so we're going to go back to the main sections. Great job, guys. Amazing. Okay, students, congratulations for the work done. It was really awesome to listen to all of you discussing about the following concepts because as, as this level, we know about, um, you know, technical vocabulary because we have some words that are related to jobs, about companies, about training, so about development. So this is technical vocabulary. So we know the concepts and at the same time, we know how to explain each word and that's good. By learning vocabulary, we can also have a great English level and also we can be proficient and fluent. The fluency is uh, obtained by practicing all the time, by learning new vocabulary and expressions and communicate actively in the class. We go with the next activity and also that was uh, very, very interesting. We have the next uh, challenge. We have a speaking activity. And also, I want you to uh, to try to answer in a briefly way the following questions we have here, like the first one. What can we learn? Uh, well, in that case, we're going to, sorry, let me share my screen a bigger. One second. One second. Let me share the view back my screen. I think it's much better. Uh, presentation mode. This one. Okay, the first one is what can we learn about this unit one? So because we have been studying a very interesting topic, so what can we learn? Explain in your briefly way what you understood. Like you know, uh, what I learned about this unit is that we can also talk about training. So you can explain in a briefly way what are the advantages of having a training in our jobs that are incredible advantages. So you can also mention some of them according to your personal experience. Um. And also, what sort of skills do you think young people in your country lack the most? What the skills they need to have? Um, for, for example, uh, I don't know if you agree with me, but something that we would like to learn, uh, especially young people, is to know about financial education, don't you think? For example, the financial education will be very important that people know how to manage their economy. They can also learn about, you know, budgets, they learn about the economy, et cetera. And uh, what would you say is the difference between education and training? What's the difference between both? And it will online training be very big in the future? Well, no, we have seen uh, an incredible evolution uh, because of the pandemic. So we know more about this topic. So I want you to take a short time to socialize, to, to answer these questions. And uh, I'm just gonna take a short time to check the attendance list again. Well, you listen your name and you say present. I will also take a picture uh, about this exercise. One moment, please.
Okay, I'm sending you the picture about these questions. You can also check the chat. And also you can see the, um, you know, this these questions because I will um, close this screen and um, I will check the attendance list. Let's see, we're gonna go back. Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Is Carlos Alberto here? Carlos? Um, eh, Carlos Ernesto Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present teacher. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present. Eh, Jorge Antonio Sanchez. Present teacher. Eh, Jose Bernardo Lopez. Present. Eh, Jose Carlos Argueta. Present. Eh, Jose Salvador Bernal. I'm here, teacher. Thanks, uh, Josman Atilio Serrano. Present, teacher. Okay, Juan Carlos Herrera. Present, teacher. Thanks, eh, Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Present. Um, Nelson Alberto Peraza. Present. Thanks, Rafael Alexander Sterna. Present, teacher. Thank you, uh, Ricardo Ernesto Perez. Present teacher. Uh, Sifrido Ernesto Gomez. Sifrido. Thanks. Uh, Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Present. Thank you. And Mirna Elizabeth Alberenga Rivas. Present. Thanks a lot. Well, students, we have a couple of minutes to socialize. We're going to switch the strategy because the time won't be enough for all of us to, you know, to share the questions. Hi. Teacher, excuse me. Yes. I, 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 I didn't hear my name. Uh, Escamilla Jurado. Oh, which name? What's your name? Osman Enrique Hernandez. Let me check. Yes, Hernandez. Yes, it's right there. Present. Teacher, you, you didn't say my name. Last name? Teacher, what happened? Teacher, what happened? Did your, maybe it's the time. It's leaving time. <laughs> okay, is your last name, please? Maybe it is late. Maybe it's late. Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know what happened. Yeah, I'm not concerned. <laughs> what is your last name, please? No, I, I, I think I think because. This is Monday, yes? Yeah, yeah, because it's Monday. <laughs> Tomorrow is a great, it's going to be much better. Maybe what's enough for today? <laughs> yes. Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> it's difficult to start the, the, the week. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, it's, sometimes happen, right? Depending on your, your schedule, because sometimes there are some days that are very, very heavy, and there are some other days that are like more relaxed. So these days, I uh, you know, for example, it's uh, very yes. challenging, depending on the day, right? Depending on the day <laughs> and activities you have to develop, right? Okay, uh, the question is, what can we learn about this unit? I need a comment, an opinion, or something that you can tell me. Teacher, I learned that we can do this, or I don't know, a, a personal perspective. Who's going to break the ice? Teacher, um, I, I I don't know uh, what is the name of the, the, the topic. Uh, I remember we studied many topics, but uh, in simple words, I, I learned uh, it's important uh, grow up every day in, in a company, but uh, but uh, to 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 get this, we have we, we need to. Uh, prepare a lot, yes, because if we if we want increase in grab in a company, it's important uh, capacitation uh, all time, yes. Yeah, the training all the time. Training, yes, training all uh, all time. Also, if the company uh, 
uh, investment invest invest in, in the training for uh, for all uh, employees. Uh, this company uh, is is less difficult is less difficult is less less difficult uh, increase uh, uh, production yes uh, quality that's all now thank you so much Osman uh, definitely that is very valuable you know to to talk about things that we are learning in this process thank you so much okay, okay. let's see yeah someone else oh, Jose yeah Okay, so in my case, I remember, teacher, that we were talking about the pair conjunction. After that, when do we use comma? But the the principal or the main for me was the important about a CPD because we we don't have to stay in stock. We have to stay learning always because the whole world is is turned around, so we cannot stay in stock because if we don't try for any CPD. Uh, maybe we we can have close new doors in the future. Thank you so much. Yes, definitely that I also learned about that. And being honest, is is very interesting. And to to like don't be stuck, right? To be learning new things. Okay, uh, question number two, what are the advantages of having a training in our jobs? What can you tell me in a spontaneous way? Uh, how can you respond to this question number two? I, um, one advantage for me is uh, if if I get a uh, training uh, for a specific if a specific process or topic, I can do better the, the activities. Uh, my performance uh, will be better. Only that. Okay. Thank you so much, Osman. Uh, yeah, that is very valuable. Thank you. Okay, and someone else would like to give uh, his or her opinion about the number two? Mm, I think that you have many advantage teacher because if you if you having a training in our in your jobs in our job, you could be do better your job, uh, your skill improve, you you will be uh quality or or most quality your in your activities uh, you are most efficiently in your in your job and I think that in my opinion is win to win because if if the company win you 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 will win too because if your your training help that the, that your company is is for the best. Yes, definitely. That is very, very important to highlight this point. Great job. Thank you. Let's move to the next one. And what sort of skills do you think young people um, in your country lack the most? What do you think um, these skills um, they you know lack you know the most? Who would like to give a, a personal opinion about this? Finance. <laughs> yeah, that's one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, financial. Yeah, finance. yeah, training. Or maybe or technology. Yeah, so yeah, maybe technology. Okay. Yes. Any other one that you remember, guys, or perhaps a would be a good idea to discuss. I I think it's the the young people uh, use used very well is the technology, but uh, the young people is speaking other language. Okay, yeah, like that. Yeah, also languages is important. 
not many people that speak English, imagine. And also English nowadays is opening a lot of doors. To, so maybe languages could be a good, good point of that. And what else would you like to include? Okay, um, the next one. What would you say is the difference between education and training? Um, what do you understand by, by that? Can you help me with it, please? I'm sorry, teacher, but I, I want to, to participate. <laughs> okay. uh, Excellent. Yes, the, uh, I, I think uh, the, different, the difference is education is when I, when I take, uh, when I uh, study, study theoric, theoric about a specific topic. Yes, I, I am learning uh, uh, about the process, uh, but the but the training is when I put in practice all learning about the specific process. That's okay. all. Thank you so much. Uh, that's very interesting. Okay. And also we conclude with this one and will online training be very big in the future? What do you think? Yes, of course, teacher. If not, <laughs> this is the, the best way. <laughs> like now. Now, now is is <laughs> now is big, bigger. Big teacher. Yeah, now. now. Is, now I think bigger. that imagine that the the robot or something like that in the future. Oh my god. The, Teacher, <laughs> I, I think currently we are training online. Yeah. Yes. Before, before, before we we had to uh, to be present uh, in class. Mm -hmm. We 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 had uh, travel to get a class, but now online. Yeah, much better in a comfortable place. <laughs> yeah, the pandemic was a good training for us. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, definitely. Well, and the company yeah. changed the the chips. I think the company changed the chip and tried to 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 do the home office and and believe in in the and their their employees from home. Hmm. Yeah, that's right. So there was an adaptation process. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, students, actually, time is up. And thank you so much for the work done. It was a very interesting class. You make the difference and also because you have been actively participating we have learned something new as a teacher i have learned many things today so thank you so much and you are dismissed and don't forget to work in the exercises on the platform because every class we have to work in the exercises are pretty simple and interesting all right thank you guys i really appreciate it and have a beautiful and night to everyone, and don't forget to conclude the exercises. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye, teacher. Take care.